as most of us know, the third season of Star vs. the Force of Evil has been a mess. But, with the new episodes on the horizon, we're still anticipating what will happen next. One of these new episodes aired quite recently is titled The Bok Beast of Agaba and Total Eclipse of the Moon. It's been several months since the holiday special aired. Was it worth the wait? Yes! Yes it was! This new episode... Well, these episode segments lived up to all expectations. First, let's cover the Bog Beast of Bagaba. Let's be real here, this episode is pure filler. However, it's not bad filler. In fact, it's quite the contrary. It's fairly enjoyable. Of course, there isn't real plot development. The whole scenario is essentially a somewhat generic father-daughter bonding time type thing, but it stays fresh and non-cliche. So yeah, to summarize, it's an enjoyable, solid filler episode. Not much else to say. Total Eclipse of the Moon, on the other hand, is where all the content is at. This episode does several things that many previous Season 3 episodes refused to do. That, of course, would be a meaningful focus on the overall plot and character development. To be specific, Eclipsa finally gets another chance to be front and center, and we actually get to find out more about her while still keeping certain topics a mystery. For example, we learn that Festivia Butterfly may or may not have been Eclipsa's daughter at all. This suggests that future episodes will touch more on the Butterfly family's history. My only gripe with this episode was that it ended a bit anticlimactically, but it's not a huge drawback. Overall, these two episodes are worth watching. In fact, I believe it's somewhat of a return to form of how season two handled its structure. One episode segment will be plot focused and the other will focus on an irrelevant side plot to which would still entertain the audience. It caters to both those looking for the plot and those looking for plain dumb fun. Unfortunately, these episodes still suffer from two things the rest of season three already does. Those being that the animation is still stiff as heck, and Star is still kind of an unlikable jerk at times. Despite these flaws, it's still very enjoyable to watch. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to like and subscribe. You know we impressed you. There's also a Star vs. the Force of Evil Amino, believe it or not. You should join it. There's all kinds of wonderful fan art, theories, polls, and even these things called challenges. It's a wonderful place, and we implore you to check it out.